Appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Today, we're gonna actually be checking out the Schwacker. And for those of you that don't know that haven't been following this series, we've been doing a series called the 2024 Head Hunt. And essentially what we're trying to figure out is what head I'm gonna be using this year. I've only been hunting for about three years, so I'm kind of learning, seeing what does what, you know. We have done quite a few outside of the box type of broadheads. I consider Schwacker more of a, like a standard, right? I guess my point is, is you can't go wrong recommending a Schwacker to somebody. I've never Never killed an animal with one of these but I did hunt with them last year just never got the opportunity to put one in an animal they are the tried and true They've killed a lot of animals. I haven't tested them. I just want to make sure while we're doing all this that I'm throwing broadheads in here that people are familiar with, right? I want to see how this broadhead performs maybe against some of the other mechanicals we, we've shot because we know this is a good broadhead. The Schwacker's been out long enough. We know what it does. Even myself getting into bow hunting three years ago, this is one of the first broadheads I purchased because they're easily accessible. People recommend them. People say they're great broadheads. So the Schwacker is a mechanical broadhead. If you look at it, it has two blades that stick out. And essentially these are the blades, they call them, I guess, the cage ripper blades Th these are the blades that when the broadhead hits the animal these are the first blades that make contact with the hide so that the broadhead can go through the ribs and the fresh blades come out so these come out and this is a fresh and i'm gonna go ahead and well looks like it's a little more see so I have more, so I just wanted to show so people that maybe aren't familiar. So now you got a fresh pair of very, very sharp. These are very sharp. The ferrule's made of aircraft aluminum and the chisel tip is made by carbon steel. The force of the broadhead going through and the, and the force of, of all the, the cavity and everything inside the animal being on this, the broadhead has nowhere to go. So it essentially turns it into a fixed blade once it's fully deployed in the cavity. Very solid, well thought out broadhead. Um, they do have one that is, uh, it has, it has blades on the outside, like a fixed blade on the outside, kind of like a hybrid schwacker. And I was thinking about getting that, but I don't know, man, I've already spent so much money on broadheads doing this series. I'm, I, basically what we have is is what we're gonna be testing with. We I feel like we got a good selection of broadheads. Anything else, the, the company's gonna have to send them to me, at least for now. When turkey season rolls around, we'll do it again for turkey season, you know what I mean? Because that, that, I think that'd be cool to test out some turkey broadheads. But we're gonna get these put on an arrow. We're gonna spin test them. We, got, we only got three of them. We'll spin test them, we'll weigh them, and then we'll start slinging them. So let's get everything set up and we'll see what the Schwacker does. Okay, 99, 99.4, 99.2. Very straight. Okay, try the next one. They do have practice tips too, but I highly recommend buying two packs of these. Very good. Good spin. They spin well. I highly recommend uh, shooting the actual broadhead. Let's go ahead and get everything ranged out. Let's shoot this thing out to 40 versus a fill tip. Let's see how it does. 100 grain, swacker. We're gonna shoot the fill point first. That was a little left, I think. Remember, we're looking for grouping. I've been swapping between 100 and 125, doing different heads. I should have, I think I got it, but here we go with the Schwacker, 100 grain, 40 yards. It seemed like it was a little high. Let's go take a look. Pretty good. I'm assuming that's the Schwacker. The way we do it, four inches. That's pretty much money. I'm assuming this is the fill point, okay? And then this is two inches away, so. This is about three inches. This is one inch. That could have been me, I don't know. All right, see how it does in the jail. Schwacker, Hunter Green. There we go. You can see it took a minute for it to open. About six inches. Well, about four, three inches. But once it opens, boy, once that joker opens, it is disgusting. No doubt about that. Let's measure it. 
Uh, about nine and a half, not bad with that big old cut, two inch cut. Another cool thing about these, you know, they're easy to, you know, if you're gonna shoot, you know, my father-in-law, he just shoots with this. He don't use the practice head, he just shoots this over and over because, you know, they go in, you can pull them right out of the target. Now they're hard on your target. Um, let's get everything set up, let's test for deflection. Schweiker 100 grain, testing for deflection. We're at about 15 yards. <sighs> I think that's one of the first mechanicals that just passed the deflection test. I have to, I've, we've shot so many broadheads, I can't remember off the top. I mean, that thing went straight through, dude. I think the Grim Reaper went through too. Goodness. Wow. Have to admit, that's impressive. See if the blade's got any chatter. Still, sh uh, they took a little damage, but they're still sharp. Let's shoot her in the metal. Not too bad though. Look at the tip, the high carbon steel, steel sharp, nothing wrong with it as far as the blades go. I mean, bro, there is some chatter, so, but not bad. That's still sharp. This one's, there's nothing wrong with this one. This one has like a nick right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, there you go. Nicked up a little bit, but. Not bad. Very good, man. And I think, if, if you notice, a Schwacker really has a, a, a lot thicker blade than most mechanicals. I mean, that's a pretty thick blade for a mechanical. Solid. Let's look at the hole. So, not bad. Boom. So, it's pretty small entrance wound, but it's not, it's not super small. And, I mean, those little blades... If they're going to open up metal like this, that's one thing I wondered. I mean, they're they're definitely going to open up a deer or break a bone. But look at this. God dog, bro. Look at that. Goodness, bro. Goodness. All the way up here. All the way down here. That's one of the longest. I mean, bro, that's like throwing a hatchet at something. It's disgusting. All right, guys. So I did notice uh, the blade bent a little bit, but it won't go completely in there. So you'd have to get a kit, one of the blade kits and replace it. But man, such a disgusting broadhead. Um, and there's a reason why Levi Morgan and, and all these people that have been archers a long time and that bow hunt a long, been bow hunting a long time shoot these. This is the mechanical that I recommended to my father-in-law because we were just looking for something for him to shoot. I had just gotten into archery and I had heard nothing but good things about the Schwacker. Very durable. I think a lot of it has to do with the thickness of these blades and how they made sure not to put no flimsy blades on here. This thing did get dinged up, but the chisel tip is, is fine. You know, as far as flight goes, it, you know, there's no reason why this thing should veer off. It's essentially like shooting a fill point. There's just two little wings here, but it doesn't really do anything to flight. The the gel, the wound channel of this thing, um, I guess the only downside, like I said, is the entrance. It takes a minute for it to open up. So it like, it goes through the ribs. It takes about three inches with my setup for it to actually completely deploy inside the, the gel or the wound channel or whatever animal you shoot it into. It looks like it'd take me about three inches to to get it all the way open. But the deflection test and the fact that it went through the wood like that, I have to go back and look, but I can't remember of another mechanical so far. I, I could be wrong. I know the Grim Reaper opened the second time, but I actually had to shoot that twice, but, but the first day it did not open. And who knows, maybe if I shot this twice, maybe the second time it wouldn't. But as far as we know, it the, passed the deflection test with flying colors. And as far as going through the metal, it did get a little dinged up, but God dog, man, that hole on the other side is just so nuts, man. This doesn't look as mean as the Grim Reaper. It packs a punch, man. So when you think of a good broadhead, you think of Rage, Schwacker, as far as mechanicals, Rage, Schwacker, and Grim Reaper, in my opinion. You're definitely in good hands if you end up taking this to the woods. So if you found this informative, if it helped you decide whether you're gonna buy this broadhead or hunt with it this year, please hit the subscribe button. If you wanna see future videos like this click the bell notification that'll let you know when i drop a new video click the like button that helps me with the analytics as always god bless you guys until next time thank you guys so much have a great week